Okay, part seven of my favorite shows is now in session. Starting with Tough Puppy. Okay, first of all, this show is directed by the same guy who gave us the Fairly Odd Parents. And what could I say? I have to say, this is a really funny show. Like, Butch Hartman did a really good job with this show. Like, the animation looks really cool. And Dudley Puppy, who is voiced by Jeffrey Trainer, he was such a hilarious character. I mean, he's tough puppy. He's he's got to be one of my favorite characters in this sh in this show. Kitty Catswell, she was a good character as well. And, and they had this show it's like Top Puppy, ha they need to find a way of how to stop the bad guys and all that stuff. And that's really interesting and there are lots of funny moments in this show, Top Puppy. Yeah, when I saw it I'm like, wow, this is, this is a really decent and good Nickelodeon show that they've done. And yes, actually... I actually meant that this is a good cartoon. Yeah. Tup Puppy is a really funny show. And and Nickelodeon redeemed himself with this show. After the god awful show Fatboy and Chum Chum. They they had redeemed themselves with this and the Loud House. And the new Spongebob episodes after seasons 5 through 9. So yeah. Overall, I think Tough Puppy is a good, good Butch Hartman show. If you haven't, if you haven't seen it, I, 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 I truly recommend this, that you should see it. It's such a funny show. Yeah, Tough Puppy, real, really good show. Okay, moving on with Tough Puppy. Hmm. What else is a What else is a good show? Hmm. You guys might actually be surprised on this one of what I'm about to put next. You guys might actually be surprised on that. Little House on the Prairie. All I could say about this show, this is a really good natured show. Yeah, this is a really good natured show. The characters are have the characters are really great and they're phenomenal. I think the acting is really good. It's all about how they have to deal with the hardships and all that stuff. Yeah, but most of the times, some scenes can be really heartwarming, and there there are some sad scenes too. And it's really well balanced, and the characters, most of the characters' personalities fits really perfectly, and fits really really fittingly for the characters. When I saw it, I, I'm, and I'm like, oh. I mean, my mom likes this show, and then I watch, I watch it, I watch this show, and I'm like, wow, my mom really does like this show, and yeah, and yeah, she seen, she saw that show, and I've seen it, and all I, I have to say, this is a really good natured show the, I mean the the music in it is, is just it's just lovely and it teaches it teaches good morals and doing good deeds to other people doing it has lots of good things that just gives it even it even gives good information to everyone 
And the characters are really good natured and they're such um they're such redeemable and such likable characters. Wow. Little House on the Prairie definitely one of one of one of one of one of the best. And it's also a real classic. So yeah, Little House on the Prairie, I real I actually like this show. It's a good natured show and it does lots of and teaches it every teaches them lots of good sing good things about it. So if you haven't seen it, I I truly recommend this one. This is a really good natured show. So yeah, moving on with Little House on the Prairie. So yeah, definitely one of my definitely a good show. Little House on the Prairie. Yes, that is a good one. Okay. Hmm. The next one is definitely uh, g again one of my childhood shows, Blue's Clues. Yep, Blue's Clues with Steve. This show was a great childhood of mine, along with the big comfy couch. Steve Burns was such a Fantastic host until Joe came along in the later seasons, and with Joe, things were were not the same in, in my opinion. With Joe around and him taking over, it just didn't felt the same to me in my opinion. But with Steve around, yes, definitely, he was a great he was a great host until Steve left for college. Yeah, there was a scene where they said the last goodbye to Steve. That was, yeah, and then Joe came to to take Steve's Steve's uh place as a host. Yeah, but with Steve, he's such a great kill. He's such a great guy. He's funny. He's likable. He's good natured. I mean. He can even be silly at times. <laughs> and Blue, Blue is, what could I say? Blue is a cute character. She is adorable. And the way that they teach kids like alphabets, map problems, and how, and the way that Steve looks for clues and kids says, a clue, a clue. And then, Steve's like, you see a clue? And then they point, and Steve uses his handy dandy notebook to draw the clues. And then in the end, they do the, when they got all three clues, sink, they go to the sinking chair and they sink up with those. And yeah, you get the point. Blue's Clues is such a great childhood of mine with Steve. And with Steve around, Steve is a great character. Blue is an adorable character. Everybody's such a su with such good natured and likable characters. And the animation is is really is really it's just delightful. Like wow. It, Blue's clues really lives up to its type. And they got also got in there's a new show called Blue's Clues and You, which I think that's that's the only decent Nick Jr. show as of now. Blue's Clues and You, but with but jo and Josh is taking over, and mm, I think Josh is decent. But Steve Burns, yes, he's such a 
great person. So yeah, Blue's Clues definitely a great childhood of mine. If you don't like this show, once again, I'm fine. I'm fine with your opinion. It's okay. It's okay, and I'm I'm fine with your opinion. To me, I just think Blue's Clues with C was a huge part of my childhood, and it really lives up to its type. So yeah, Blue's Clues, definitely a great childhood show of mine. Okay, moving on with Blue's Clues. I got another dog show that I actually like, and it's from Cartoon Network. And that is, of course, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Yeah, Courage the Cowardly Dog is such a funny show. Like, the, the animation looks really nice, and Courage is such a great character. M Muriel is like this warm-hearted person that... that she she's just a really good natured and warm hearted person that, that there was this one episode where Courage has his memories and Muriel finds him finds Courage crying when Courage was a puppy and then Muriel takes takes Courage to her home and then, and and Muriel Muriel sits with her walking chair with courage, and courage is all is is peacefully just is living peacefully with Muriel while the chair is walking. And then we got Eustace who 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 uses the mask to scare courage twenty four seven, being mean to courage, especially when he yells. Ooga booga booga and Kush screams. Yeah, most of the episodes are. So, some people say that some episodes are really disturbing as well because of the images. Yeah, it's true that some sometimes it can be disturbing, but it also can be. Sometimes it also can be funny as well. Yeah. Even though it can be disturbing at times, I still find this to be a really funny show. Even even the way Courage screams, you just can't help but to laugh as well. Cause it it can it's supposed to be funny. So yeah. I even got uh, the DVD set of Courage the Cowardly Dog. Yeah. Courage the Cowardly Dog is one of those Cartoon Network shows that I like. Back when Cartoon Network used to be great. Instead, instead of what it is today. Yeah. Courage the Cowardly Dog is one of these shows that, that I really like. From Cartoon Network. Back when Cartoon Network. Used to be in the golden days. Back when they had Camp Laszlo. Billy and Mandy. Dexter's Laboratory. Ed, Ed and Eddie. And this one. So yeah. Courage of the Cowardly Dog. Yes. It can be disturbing. But it's also very funny. So if you haven't. If you don't like this show. I'm fine. I'm fine with your opinion. That's your opinion. Feel feel free to dislike it, and I'm, and I'm fine. I'm fine with it. So yeah, Coach a Cowardly Dog. Yes, definitely a good sh a good show to me. I, my favorite episode where Emilio had turned into a girl and Coach had to had to uh, babysit her, which that was a funny one. So yeah, other so yeah, Coach the Cowardly Dog. Yes, a great, definitely a great show. Part eight will be in session, so stay tuned for that.